The big one. Scientists warn huge earthquake will sink California. When will California sink into the sea? The looming threat of a massive earthquake, commonly referred to as the big one, has long been a source of anxiety for residents and scientists alike. California, with its sprawling cities and picturesque coastline, is situated along a volatile network of fault lines that make it particularly vulnerable to seismic activity. The potential for a catastrophic earthquake to strike the state is not just a matter of speculation, but a reality supported by scientific evidence and historical patterns. Recent studies have also suggested that a major seismic event could result in parts of California sinking, adding another layer of complexity to the potential disaster. Today we're taking a closer look into the scientific predictions and potential impacts of the big one, and the urgent need for preparedness and mitigation strategies to safeguard California's future. Science Behind the Big One the term, the big one, refers to a hypothetical but inevitable earthquake of unprecedented magnitude, expected to strike along California's San Andreas Fault. Unlike the more frequent, moderate quakes that Californians have grown accustomed to, the big one is anticipated to be a seismic event of enormous scale, potentially reaching a magnitude of 8.0 or higher. This earthquake would release a tremendous amount of energy, causing widespread destruction over a vast area. According to Dr. Thomas H. Jordan, a prominent seismologist and director of the Southern California Earthquake Center, the big one is coming. It's inevitable. What makes the big one particularly concerning is not just its expected magnitude, but also the length of the fault line that could rupture. The San Andreas Fault spans approximately 800 miles, and a rupture along a significant portion of this length could result in prolonged shaking, exacerbating damage to infrastructure, and increasing the risk of casualties. Historical patterns and geological records show that large earthquakes have occurred along this fault line approximately every 150 to 200 years. The southern section of the San Andreas Fault in particular has not seen a major earthquake since 1857, leading scientists to believe it is overdue for a significant event. Advanced computer models and simulations help scientists predict the potential impacts of the big one. These models take into account various factors, including the fault's characteristics, the region's geology, and the built environment. Simulations predict severe shaking lasting several minutes, which is far longer than typical earthquakes. This extended shaking can cause greater structural damage, particularly to older buildings and infrastructure not designed to withstand such forces. The potential for landslides, fires, and even tsunamis along the coast further complicates the scenario. Despite the limitations in predicting the exact timing of such an earthquake, the scientific community is united in its belief that preparation is crucial. As Dr. Jordan stresses, we need to recognize that a major earthquake could happen at any time and act accordingly. This includes not only reinforcing buildings and infrastructure, but also ensuring that emergency services and the public are adequately prepared. The lessons learned from past earthquakes highlight the importance of readiness in minimizing the catastrophic impacts of the big one. The risk of sinking geological factors. The risk of sinking during an earthquake known as subsidence is a critical concern for California. This phenomenon occurs when the ground loses stability and sinks, often exacerbated by liquefaction, where saturated soil behaves like a liquid under intense shaking. The geological makeup of certain areas in California makes them particularly susceptible to these effects. Regions with loose, water-saturated soils are most at risk, especially those built on reclaimed land or along river deltas. When a powerful earthquake strikes, these areas could experience significant ground deformation, leading to the sinking of entire neighborhoods. Historical precedents underscore the threat of subsidence in earthquake-prone regions. The 1964 Great Alaska Earthquake, one of the most powerful quakes ever recorded, resulted in significant subsidence, causing entire sections of anchorage to sink several feet. Similarly, the 1995 Kobe earthquake in Japan caused widespread liquefaction and subsidence, resulting in catastrophic damage to infrastructure. These examples serve as a stark reminder of the potential for similar occurrences in California. Geophysicist Dr. Ross Stein has warned, subsidence during a major earthquake in California is not just possible, it's likely in certain areas. Scientists emphasize the importance of understanding local geology to assess subsidence risks accurately. 
In California, regions such as the Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta and parts of the San Francisco Bay Area are particularly vulnerable. The combination of soft sediments, high water tables, and significant human development creates conditions ripe for subsidence. This risk is further compounded by the state's extensive infrastructure networks, which include vital transportation routes, water delivery systems, and utilities, all of which could be severely affected by ground subsidence. Climate change and its impact on earthquake severity. Climate change is increasingly recognized as a factor that could influence the severity of earthquakes in California, particularly concerning the anticipated big one. Rising global temperatures and shifting weather patterns are causing changes in the Earth's crust, which can alter stress loads along fault lines. This is of particular concern for a region like California, where the intersection of tectonic activity and climate change poses unique challenges. The potential for increased rainfall and subsequent flooding can lead to soil saturation, which heightens the risk of liquefaction and subsidence during an earthquake. According to Dr. Brendan Mead, a professor of Earth and Planetary Sciences at Harvard University, climate change can have indirect effects on earthquake hazards by altering the stresses on faults. Sea level rise is another significant factor that could worsen the impact of a major earthquake in California. As ocean levels rise, coastal areas are more susceptible to flooding, which can compromise the structural integrity of seawalls and other protective barriers. This vulnerability becomes even more critical in the event of a powerful earthquake, which could trigger tsunamis, compounding the devastation. The combination of an earthquake and a tsunami would overwhelm coastal infrastructure and lead to catastrophic damage, particularly in densely populated regions. This interconnectedness of climate change and seismic risk underscores the importance of comprehensive planning that addresses both threats simultaneously. The increased frequency and intensity of wildfires in California, driven in part by climate change, also play a role in shaping the landscape's response to earthquakes. Wildfires can strip vegetation from hillsides, leaving them more prone to landslides during seismic events. The destabilization of these slopes can lead to dangerous and destructive slides in the aftermath of an earthquake, further complicating rescue and recovery efforts. The cumulative effects of climate change on the landscape require a reassessment of how earthquake risks are managed and mitigated. Potential Impacts on California The potential impacts of the big one on California could be catastrophic, affecting millions of people and causing widespread destruction across the state. With a magnitude that could exceed previous seismic events, this earthquake would likely result in significant loss of life and economic disruption. The densely populated regions of Los Angeles and San Francisco are particularly vulnerable due to their proximity to major fault lines and extensive urban development. In the aftermath of such an event, emergency services would be overwhelmed, complicating rescue and recovery efforts and leaving many communities isolated and in dire need of assistance. The economic impact of the big one would be profound, potentially reaching hundreds of billions of dollars in damages. Infrastructure such as bridges, highways, and public transportation systems would face severe damage, disrupting the daily lives of residents and hindering the delivery of essential services. The damage to infrastructure could take years to repair, affecting businesses and the state's overall economy. The cost of rebuilding and the loss of economic productivity would have long-term repercussions, not only for California, but for the entire country, given the state's role as a major economic hub. In addition to the immediate destruction, the risk to California's critical infrastructure, such as water supply systems and power grids, could exacerbate the disaster's impact. These systems are crucial for maintaining public health and safety, and their disruption could lead to secondary crises, including water shortages and power outages. The state's coastal regions are also at risk from potential tsunamis triggered by an offshore earthquake, which could cause additional damage to homes and businesses and result in further loss of life. Preparedness and Mitigation Strategies California has been actively working to enhance its preparedness and mitigation strategies in anticipation of the big one. One of the primary focuses is on strengthening building codes and ensuring that new constructions are designed to withstand significant seismic activity, retrofitting older buildings especially those constructed before the implementation of modern seismic standards, is crucial to reducing the risk of collapse. Efforts to retrofit public infrastructure, such as bridges, highways, and utility systems, are also underway to improve resilience. 
The California Earthquake Authority, CEA, a state agency dedicated to earthquake preparedness, provides resources and financial incentives for homeowners to retrofit their properties, aiming to mitigate potential damage. Emergency response plans play a vital role in ensuring that the state is prepared to act swiftly in the event of a major earthquake. These plans involve coordination among various agencies, including local governments, emergency services, and non-governmental organizations, to ensure an effective response. Drills and simulations are conducted regularly to test these plans and identify areas for improvement. The state's earthquake early warning system, known as ShakeAlert, is a critical component of these efforts. Developed in collaboration with the United States Geological Survey, USGS, ShakeAlert can detect the first signs of an earthquake and provide seconds to minutes of warning before the shaking begins. This system is designed to give people time to take cover and allow automated systems to shut down or protect sensitive infrastructure, potentially saving lives and reducing damage. Public education and awareness campaigns are essential for ensuring that residents know what to do before, during, and after an earthquake. The Great California Shakeout, an annual earthquake drill involving millions of participants, helps raise awareness and educate the public on proper safety procedures by encouraging individuals and families to create emergency plans and supply kits. These initiatives aim to empower communities to take proactive steps in preparing for a major seismic event. Dr. Lucy Jones emphasizes the importance of individual preparedness. The more people know about what to expect and how to respond, the better our chances of minimizing the impact of a major earthquake. Collaboration with scientists and researchers is another key aspect of California's mitigation strategies. Ongoing research into seismic activity and earthquake prediction helps refine models and improve our understanding of potential risks. This information is crucial for policymakers and emergency planners to make informed decisions about resource allocation and risk management. By leveraging scientific insights, California can continue to adapt its strategies and stay ahead of emerging threats. Now it's time to hear from you. Does the threat of the big one make you less likely to visit or live in California? Let us know in the comments section below.